Janet Harmon Waterford Bragg, Black Aviator, born 1907, died 1993. Janet Bragg was a black aviator. In 1942, she was the first African-American woman to hold a commercial pilot's license. She is a 2022 inductee to the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame. In 1928, Bragg became the first black woman to enroll in the Curtis Wright School of Aeronautics in Chicago. In 1933, Janet enrolled at Curtis Wright Aeronautical University, a segregated black aviation school managed by John C. Robinson and Cornelius Coffey. She was the only woman in a class of, with 24 black men. In 1934, she provided $600 of her own money to buy the school's first airplane and helped in building the school's own airfield in Robbins, Illinois. In the summer, she learned flying and obtained her private pilot's license. In 1943, she applied to join the Women's Air Force Service Pilots Program, or WASP. When she went in for an interview, Ethel Sheehy, assistant to the head of WASP, denied her an interview because she was black. A few weeks later, she received a rejection letter from Jacqueline Cotrin, head of WASP, for the same reason. Her application to the military nurse corps was rejected also on racial grounds. She then enrolled in the civilian pilot training program at Tuskegee Institute in Tuskegee, Alabama, despite completing her coursework, coursework examination and flight test. She was denied a pilot's license in Alabama for being a, quote, colored girl, but managed to receive a license at Paul Wacky Field, Illinois. Bragg was involved in the inception of the National Association of American Airmen, designed to represent the nascent profession to the government. Bragg retired from flying in 1965 with about 2,000 hours of flight time. Citations are in the description.